Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ooh, I hope you're ready. Uh, you guys ready to paint some stars? But first, I did another try on my blue stuff. It came out really good on the outside. You can't uh talked to my buddy last night and he says I need to I'm holding the vacuum too long. I need to turn it on and off. But I might have got it a little too thin here. Probably going to be break real easy. You have to be careful. Same thing. Got more of them this time though. It's only missing a couple down here. But that don't look bad, does it? Everything came out really good except for them switches. And you know, I can tell where they are because they're bubbling. I think if I take a, a wire or something, poke a little resin down there. Yeah. Oh, there's some knobs, too. No, they were just a part of the switches. Yeah, they didn't. There was an air bubble formed with an air bubble in there. Okay, but anyway, I'm getting ready to put some stars on here. I want to show you guys this one, this primer drive. And it actually looks pretty good. See, that was made kind of a matte finish, so it transferred onto my mold. See all them switches, and knobs, and buttons. You know, I think it looks good. Get that painted. That'll look good. And then I made another one out of my resin. And it actually came out pretty good too. It just takes a long time. Here's a shot of it. And uh, I took it out of a vacuum and let it set up after I on and off for a while you know and uh, then it dried nice and flat and uh, it came out pretty good I just like that blue stuff because it just sets up so much faster you know this is, you, can't, you gotta wait a full day but anyway all right let's get some stars painted now these came from my buddy at River City Graphics. I'm do with his sign. I got to hold my sign up. I'll find it, Jason. Sorry, man. 
Okay. Now, I figured out the placement on my stars and my other dilly, the dilly whoppers, you know. I pretty much got it figured out. Now, the trick here is not to rub the whole thing down real good. We sure don't want to mess up this pretty white. This white came out really good, guys. It was kind of hard to cover that uh, dark gray uh, sealer. But we got her. But you want to tape these things in place, you know? Because they're going to stick where you put it down and you don't want to lift it up and try to move it around. And I tried put, squirting some water under some uh, paint mask before. Big mistake. <laughs> and I don't think that's just for vinyl that you don't want to peel back off. Because it was like catalyst for the glue, man. And it stuck. Okay, and we don't want to rub these down super good, except for where the stars are. Just gonna lightly press it down. One of my cords here. Just gonna go where the stars are. We just want that to stick good enough to uh, Get the paper off of it. We'll put old Jason's email in the in the description. And he did all this, guys. He just asked me how big my stabs were. I want to stick the other side before I do that. He just asked me how big my stabs were. Had me measure corner to corner. And he did the rest. And he can do it for you. Decals or paint masks. Jason. He's a pretty good guy. I like old Jason. Loves his Bob TV. <laughs> Oh, my buddy John from Chicago was about, he called me about an hour ago. He was about halfway. He's going to be here about 4 o'clock. You got to know John. He's the cameraman for the website. Goes to a lot of these jet meets with me. I'm not really worried about working the air bubbles out of that or nothing. I just want to seal where I, my stars are. Let's see it.
So I'm going to get this blue spray and get this mask off here ASAP. I don't care about all these bubbles in this stuff, it ain't going to matter. I just want it to stick on the edge of them stars, baby. We're going to be seeing some blue stars here in a little bit. Back, guys. I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff masked. 